This is another one of my all-time favorite books. It's called Ted. It is written and illustrated by Tony DiTerlizzi, The Party. Ted blew into my house one Saturday morning. He didn't even knock. I was eating cereal, and as usual, my father was busy in his study. Hello, birthday boy, Ted bellowed. Where are the raspberries? Sorry, I said. You have the wrong house. My birthday was last week. Oh, he frowned. Then he smiled a smug smile. I'm Ted, and raspberries are my favorite food. They help keep me pinkish purpley. Do you have any? He looked harmless enough, so I found him some raspberries and sat down to finish my cereal. So what's next, birthday boy? asked Ted. I shrugged. That means to go like this. Like, I don't know. I shrugged. Then I remembered my birthday gifts. Wait, I'll be right back. A minute later, I returned with Monopoly under one arm and Twister under the other. Father gave me these for my birthday, but we haven't had a chance to play them yet. Then let's party, Ted boomed. And so we did. We ate raspberry cereal, ooh, that sounds good, and played Monopoly Twister. They combined the two games. I knew that this would be the beginning of a fantastic friendship. When I told father about Ted, he gave me one of his funny looks. Oh, an imaginary friend, huh? I had one of those back when I was your age. Just try not to get into any trouble. Shave and haircut. A few days later, I asked father to take us to the movies. Ted thought I should look my best. First things first, take your bath and I'll give you a shave and a haircut. Um, but kids my age don't shave. Didn't you just have a birthday? Ted asked. That's right. Boy, Ted was a genius. Once I was out of the tub, Ted lathered my face real good and gave me a shave. Then he glued bits of toilet paper to my face. What are these? I asked. Tissue plugs, Ted answered. They'll keep your beard from growing back. Oh, so that's why father does it. That's not what those little pieces of toilet paper are actually used for. If you live with a grown-up that shaves, ask him what they're really used for. Then it was time for my haircut. I grabbed a chair and sat in front of the mirror. Ted tied a towel around me and snippy snap, I looked like a million bucks. But father didn't think so. Ho, 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 how could you do this, he asked. Ted helped me. Don't you think he did a great job? Son, Ted didn't do this. You did. Father then spent the next four hours explaining the difference between real and imaginary friends. And I ended up at the barber where I got the hair got father picked out. We never made it to the movies. The Masterpiece I don't think my father believes in you, I said to Ted after the haircut thing. No? Ted gasped. He must. He has to. Still, I didn't think so, but I had an idea. Maybe we should paint him a picture of you, I suggested. Ooh, we could do a big, humongous, life-size picture of me. I bet that would show your father. But what do we do it on, I asked. I didn't have any paper that was as humongous as Ted. <laughs> the walls, silly. They're so blank and boring. And wishy-woosh. It was a masterpiece. Yikes, I don't know if he's going to be very happy about this. Father didn't think so. He couldn't believe how much of a mess I had made by myself in one afternoon. That's when I reminded him about Ted. I've had enough about this Ted character, Father said. Now go get washed up. You're going to bed early while I clean up this disaster. I don't think Father even looked at our picture. Indoor swimming. When did your father become such a stuffy pants? Ted asked me the following afternoon. What do adults do for fun anyways? I started listing all the things my father didn't have time for anymore. When I got to swimming, Ted's eyes lit up like marshmallows. Let's go make him a swimming pool. I wasn't sure if a pool was such a good idea, especially after the painting disaster and the haircut thing. So I had a few questions. Um, how do we make a pool? Where do we get the water? 
And the thing that I wondered about most, where are we going to put it? But Ted had everything covered. It's easy, Ted explained. We use the garden hose, bring it in through the window, and splishy splash. We could even put it in your father's study. An indoor swimming pool? We'd be the only house on the whole block to have an indoor swimming pool. I held the hose. Ted turned on the water. Oh, father's going to love this. What do you predict? Do you think father's going to love it? He didn't. Father was beside himself. I have had enough. I forbid you to ever play with Ted again. No more Ted ever. After we drained the house, Ted told me it was time for him to leave. But where will you go, I asked. Mm, back home, he replied. To the old playground. The whole next day, all I could think about was Ted. I felt pretty sad and alone. So I packed up my Monopoly, my Twister, my cereal, and some raspberries, and I ran away to live with them. Father was still steaming mad, so he didn't even notice me slip out. He left this note that says, Dear Dad, I went to go live with Ted at the old playground. Please don't worry. The old playground. When I found Ted, I explained why I had run away. Oh, don't blame your father, he said. Sometimes when people grow up, they forget how to have fun. Your father told me that when he was your age. My father? <laughs> yup. But to him, I wasn't Ted. I was Ned. Boy, the times we had playing space pirates. In fact, your father buried his atomic blaster right here under this slide. You knew my father too? I was amazed. So do you think that his dad had an imaginary friend just like he has? Or do you think Ted is real? Suddenly, there was a flashlight shining in my face. You shouldn't have run off like that. I was worried about you. It was my father. You were? I smiled. Of course I was. I'm your dad. No, come on. We're going home. But what about Ted, I asked. My dad stopped. There is no Ted, son. But there is, I said. You used to play space pirates together, except you called him Ned. He even knows where you buried your atomic blaster. Dad was stunned. Ned? My, my atomic blaster? Father had forbidden us to play. I, I lost it somewhere. It's okay, Dad. Ted says you buried it here underneath the slide. He's right, I remember. And we started digging. And there it was, a bit rusty in spots but it still lit up Dad's face. The atomic blaster had been found. Dad gave me a great big hug, and then he looked right at Ted. Ned, it's so good to see my raspberry-loving pal again, Dad grinned. Then Dad looked at me. Have I ever shown you how to play space pirates? No, I grinned. Then can we play Monopoly Twister? So we all went home and played one mean game of Space Pirates Monopoly Twister. The end. Looks like they really had fun, too. So the author doesn't really tell us for sure if Ted was real or imaginary. What do you guys think?